What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So on the Mini 2, we saw a new feature DJI introduced on it called Quick Transfer. And this allowed us to transfer some files at a quicker rate at the cost of not flying at the same time. We've seen them move that feature over to the Mavic 3 with the latest firmware update. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you're up to date on firmware updates and also that you have the DJI Fly app uh, they do have 1.5.9, but you do need to have 1.5.8 at the very least in order to gain access to this feature. So that being said, I'm going to show you guys how to use this feature, the speed differences between quick transfer and the non quick transfer transfer method. And uh, with that being said, let's head on over to the feature and I'll show you how it's done. So of course the first thing that you're going to do is connect the controller to the drone. The one thing that I like about the Mavic 3 is even with the gimbal protector on, you still can turn the drone on and uh, go through its boot up sequence in order to access this feature without it causing any issues with the uh, gimbal motor. So if we actually go into the Go Fly, you can see that there's no message saying that the gimbal motor is overloaded. And if you look real close, it still has room for it to move without it causing problems. So you can do this while the drone is in the folded position. Um, also in order to access feature, the drone cannot be flying. It has to be on the ground. Otherwise, uh, it's going to not al allow you to access the quick transfer. So uh, you can access the quick transfer from a few different menus, uh, but mainly you're gonna want to get into the album menu in order to access it. So I'm gonna show you the difference in speed with before the quick transfer and then after the quick transfer. So right now we're just in normal mode. I could fly this thing. I could transfer files all that I need to. So if I were to go into the album and if I were to tap on this, uh, we'll just say this little clip right here and download, uh, you're going to want to choose where you want the download path to be. I'm going to actually check the remember my choice and sync it to the phone album. We're going to hit OK. Now, if we go back, you can see that we're now transferring this at roughly five, five and a half megabits per second, which isn't very fast. This is great if you're trying to transfer something while you're mid air, um, but it's not very quick. So if we were to actually cancel this and hit confirm, um, you're gonna want to access the quick transfer. Again, you can access it from the menu here and you're gonna want to tap the little lightning bolt up in the top right hand corner. So you can do it from here. If you're on the main Mavic screen, you can go into album down in the bottom left and then tap on the lightning bolt up here. It's gonna say switch to quick transfer mode. Um, you may get a message that uh, requires you to accept the very first connection. We're just gonna go ahead and tap on switch. So it's gonna say Wi-Fi disconnected and it's then going to talk to the drone directly over Wi-Fi in order to speed up that transfer. You'll get a green indication saying that it has switched and you can see that the lightning bolt is now orange indicating that you are in quick transfer mode. So if we were to actually download that same file again, uh, since we've already selected it and go back, you can see that we're now transferring it 30, 40, and climbing all the way upwards of 60 megabits per second. So we have just exponentially increased the download capacity or the download speed. You can select multiple files like you did before. So if you check this little box up here in the top right, you can check, let's just download a bunch of these um, and then click on the download. You can see that up at the top, but we're downloading at 50, 55 megabits per second. So it certainly speeds up your transfer. Um, and then if you wanted to go back into the fly mode, all you need to do is go back and click on go fly. It'll say switch to flight mode, click on switch. It'll say switched. You're now in flight mode. So there you have it, really easy to use. Uh, not a lot of effort goes into it. Really nice, especially if you uh, transfer the files once you're done flying, or maybe you're on the move and you wanna transfer over your files. Um, not every one of you guys will use this or find it useful, but I certainly like it. It's a nice little feature to have. But uh, that's gonna do it. Let me know what you guys think about this feature down in the comment section below. Uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and that being said, thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Choose.